just what you were talking about, about identity and about how clinging to an identity is not a good thing. But for me, I'm, if we let go of that completely and everybody does, then does that work in the real world? Or is it really about kind of being able to have it, say, linguistically, but not hold so tightly onto it? Does that make sense? We're talking about the fifth dimension is the real world. It's actually happening. So, okay, okay, let, let us, let's go back. So the real world is what everyone creates around them. The real world is how you see your real world. How you might see your real world compared to somebody else is going to be something totally different because of how we've been created and we know that you know this. So for your own life experiences is how you're going to experience your world and how you see yourself and how you see others. What we are saying is, is that what happens is, is from your own experiences of you growing as a child, you've, you've taken and absorbed all this information and it's like okay thank you they're saying whereas some families would say oh you know okay for instance um you know parts of my family would sort of say okay um you know you are you were never meant to be a therapist what and somebody in our family is trying to become a therapist no you know we're cleaners or whatever it is do you know what i mean it's the family members around you have created construction and pulled you back and restrictions to who that you think you are and as you move forward and we know with you you have done lots of work on yourself and we understand and we can feel this uh the cogs moving um and we do not mean it in that way but what we are saying is the real world is your world how you want to create it the real world is how you want to live your life the real world is yes you still get up you go in supermarket and you go get what you want to get and you eat and you go to the toilet and you drink whatever that's the real world but the real world is now looking at it in a different shape and form as you are changing and we know we can see and we can feel it you are changing we're aware of how your thought process is and that can be quite scary for many people when they start changing when they start realizing okay that's no longer green that is red or you know this is I thought this was totally different when people start believing that yeah you can actually create the life that you want to live no you don't have to win the lottery to do it you can either downsize or you move to somewhere else but you can live the life you really do want so it happens in the real world but it's okay thank you it's catching up with the matrix it's catching up with who you are where you are and how you want to live your life and just you have to watch okay thank you they just said test us test us ask what you want Believe it, see it, feel it, have a go. There's no harm in it. But you have to accept it how it comes to you. You know, releasing things can, releasing dramas, releasing old negative thought process, releasing uh, relationships. You, you know, you let go of something, something else is going to come in. But make sure it is, you know what you want for it to come in. And it will come in into your life. We want you to try it. We are saying to you, we want you to set it out, to manifest what you want. Your list is too long. They need you to focus on one particular area of your life and allow it to come in. And then they'll show you. I hope that answers that question, sort of. I didn't know my list was too long, but I do now. <laughs> but I think... <laughs> You're asking for too much in one big bulk. Okay? It's, it's like, focus on one area. Focus on one area because that what i'm hearing and what i'm feeling is you're focusing on different areas and then it makes it a little bit harder for them to bring it because you're saying you want this but to have that we can't give you that so just focus on one area at a time allow those small things to come in it's like a snowball effect <laughs> so the the more that you just like this is what i'd like if partnership okay if it's about partnership look at a relationship then look at that what it is that you want that individual to bring into your life what it is how you'd want to share that like a seesaw backwards and forwards and then allow that and watch that unfold if it's something about you know money or whatever then again it's about what it is that you'd want with that money a house car whatever it is but not to focus on the money, but to focus on what it is that you want and the feeling that it will bring you. Okay? Good. Anyone else? <laughs>